Good midnight, my name is Chilabo7 and this is Pokemon Horko Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we took down the last two Elite Four members of the Johto slash Kanto region. And in this episode, we're going to take on the champion the second time around, except that the champion has improved his team considerably. So yeah, our current team so far, still no casualties, but... I don't know how it will turn out on Lance's um, team, so I have to be extra careful. Yeah, so without further ado, actually no, before I do, I need to fully heal my team. So let's do that. Let's do that. We only need Max Potion on Dragonite, um, Needle Queen, and Magneton, and we should be set. Okay, they're all in full health. Alright, so, without further ado, here's the finale. Actually, not the finale, finale yet, but almost there. I've been waiting for you. I knew that you, with your skills, will eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us. As the most powerful trainer and as the Pokemon League Champion, I, Lance the Dragon Master, Accept your challenge. All right, let's do this. Has a epic battle music going on here. And a full team of six once again. And it's now starting out with a Salamence. Dang, goodness! Holy snap! Slow down. What are you gonna have? A Dragon Meteor? Oh my God! You're already powerful. I'm scared. Oh my God! You got. Wow, Dragon Claw is so OP in this game. Uh, how much is gonna do? Okay, not bad. It did a hundred damage, but should be able to take it out with your aura beam, or would I? It has base 80 special defense. It won't take hits very well. It depends. Yes, yes, not bad. Good, very good. <laughs> you earned this tasty experience points. As I leveled up. Okay, good. Gyarados. Um. Okay. That can be taken care of. Magneton. What are you gonna try and do? Dragon Dance? And I don't have any physical attack. Actually, I do Magnet Bomb, but why do I, why do I use that? Oh, and you're gonna go for Waterfall. Okay, I thought you have Earthquake. Alright, so how much that is that gonna do? Not bad, but I flinched. Shoot. Oh, God. How many times have you? How many times do I have to say that you should not set up? I don't know. But we do hit the discharge though, and no Wakon Berry. Thank goodness. Those Pinch Berries are pretty, actually pretty good in the video game championships. But it might happen here as well. Actually, I have seen a lot of type resistant berries in Battle Tower. Like the super effective move that you're about to use is gonna get neutered by gonna get neutered by those berries once but you might be um, exposed because those berries they prevent you from getting KO'd okay we got a uh, another quad week against um, that Pokemon there okay so you can have outrage I think I should I think I can survive this I don't know uh, what no 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 that's not even a critical hit. Wow, it did two. It did almost two hundred damage. What the hell? Fuck. Oh, it did two hundred damage. Are you serious? Is it choice banded? Oh no. This is actually bad. <laughs> no, I lost my evolution. What the hell? Why do I still keep Twister? What the heck? Okay, gotta go for another outrage again. Please don't crit. Oh my god, this is painful. Okay, good, good. It didn't get hit hard, too hard, but should be I should be able to take one more outrage, so it's not bad. Okay, go for the ice vein. Six four times weakness. No hot bond berry. Oh my god, that outrage is so powerful. I miss my evolution. 
I think I lost my Jolteon in Cynthia's battle, but now I lost my Vaporeon against another champion battle. What the heck? Okay, next up, Dragonite. Should be able to take care of with an Ice Fang. Oh my god, this is your ace. That's your highest level, 75. If you can flinch or freeze, that would be that would be appreciated. Thank you very much. Oh, we almost took it down. Man, those dragons are ruthless. If there were fairy types in this game, it would have helped balance it out. Oh wow, you're just not giving up, are you? Oh my, Draco Meteor. It looks like as if I was playing Smogon. Wow, I got a critical hit! I might have taken that attack! Wow! The hacks! This is terrible! Oh my god, are you kidding me? My Dragonite! What's, what's your speed? 144! Um, that's not good enough though. Oh my god. Dragonite, you gotta pull through for us. You gotta pull through for us. Are you kidding me? That was a terrible attack. I'm surprised you still kept Hyper Beam. What the heck? Yeah. Oh my god, I already lost two of my formidable... I lost two water types. What even the hell was that? Okay, we took out Dragonite. Not bad. Oh, those, those brutes. They're not messing around. Okay, next one, Altaria. Okay, sh we should be fine. Okay, you have two Pokemon left. Alright, so... Oh, we, we went first. Good. Uh, okay, so... That one should be taken out by one shot. Because if they're ruthless, my Dragonite will be ruthless too. Like, they're not giving up stuff. Okay, good. Altaria's gone. And what you got on your last one? Oh dang, this really sucks. I lost both of my water types. See, Charizard's here. If my Vaporeon's still alive, it would've taken out that Charizard with Ease. Got taken out by Garchomp's Outrage. It's too powerful. It looks like it's been choice banded. Obviously, I can't send out Magnezone, I mean Magneton because it's gonna be weak to fire and same as my starter, so... I think I have to use Queenie for that. It does have Surf though, but it's not Stab and it may not be powerful as you'd think it would be. Alright, I thought this would never happen. Oh, it's gonna happen soon. And a, ch and a Choice Scarf Needle Queen. Oh, it did have Flame Drawer. That is a pretty nice attack. That's pretty nice power there. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Okay, let's see if Surf can take out Charizard in the second one. I don't think it will. Oh, maximum damage. Yes, we took it out. Charizard's down. Whoo! <laughs> that was close. But unfortunately, we did lose. It's over. But it's an odd feeling. I'm not angry that I lost. In fact, I feel happy. Happy that I witnessed the rise of a great new champion. Oh my god, if you don't have the automatic text scrolling, I would have read very fine, but I don't have to speak that fast. But unfortunately, I have to speak very fast to catch up to what the scrolling says. <coughs> <coughs> Man, I'm getting coughing. Coughing a lot. Whew. You have truly, you have become truly powerful. Your Pokemon have responded to your strong and upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokemon. And there is the final door that leads to the Hall of Fame. Oh no, it's all over. Professor Oak, if you weren't so slow. You're too slow. <laughs> uh, it's been a long while. You certainly look more impressive. Your conquest of that league, of the league is just fantastic. Your dedication, trust, and love for your Pokemon made this happen. The Pokemon were outstanding too, because they believe in you as a trainer they deserve. Congratulations! Let's interview the brand new champion! This is getting to be a bit too noisy. Can you come with me? Yes. Why not? Oh wait, we haven't done the interview. I'm trying to avoid interviews. Do not ask me any questions. <laughs> but seriously, even though I'm... 
like I'm not good at public speaking there. <laughs> it's been a long time since I last came here. This is where we commemorate the League Champions for eternity. Their courageous Pokemon are also in inducted. Here today, we witness the rise of a new League Champion, a trainer who feels compassion for and trust towards all Pokemon. A trainer who succeeded through perseverance and determination. The new League Champion who has all the makings of greatness. Allow me to register you and your partners as champion. Alright, so we have entered the Hall of Fame the second time around. And this time, what do we have? We have Vaporeon. Unfortunately, it's dead, but you finally made it to the Hall of Fame twice. You'll be remembered for eternity. Next up is Needle Queen. And the third one. It's gonna be Gyarados, the other one, not the shiny one. But it's still Gyarados, so it counts as the second one. Meganium, Hall of Fame, second time. Although you didn't do much to contribute. <laughs> but you're, nonetheless, you're in our Hall of Fame list. Dragonite, the beast, the beast unleashed. With Dragon Dance. And last one is Magneton. Unevolved. If I have an Eviolite, <laughs> but who knows. Alright, so that is gonna be it for this episode. And after that, we still have a few more to do. So don't think this is the end of the playthrough because I have a few other things to do. But I might be able to do it today or not, but who knows. But yes, the moment, if I press the A button right now, it's going to lead to the staff credits, but I'm not going to show you the credits yet because it's not the end of the playthrough yet, so you're going to stay tuned for what's going to happen next. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.